ticks are a parasite that pose a major challenge for mostly cattle keepers. Many of the animals die from tick-related diseases, as Dr. Margaret Saimokawa explains. We have in Uganda, there are three major ticks that affect the farmers, but there are many ticks they affect other animals. The major ones is Ripicephalus appendicillatus. This one causes what we call East Coast fever. This is the, the fever that usually kills exotics and all those improved breeds. And then there is another tick which is known as Boophilus decoloratus. This one causes what we know as red, as red urine. Urine is, has blood. Then there is another tick which is known as Amblyoma verigatum. This one has, it is flowered. It causes a disease that is known as hot water. The animal turns around as if it is mad. After seven years of research, the Makere University Dawn has made a breakthrough. She has developed a vaccine that kills ticks in animals. There has been a commercialized vaccine for the ticks in Cuba and it has been there for more than 20 years. The only difference is that that vaccine works on their ticks, it does not work on our ticks. So what we did was to, to use the same protein which is found in our ticks and developed a vaccine from it. Dr. Hawa announced her innovation to present Yori Museveni today during the Agricultural Innovation Exhibition at Makerere University. President Yori Museveni was excited by Dr. Hawa's innovation. The president applauded Makerere University management for its efforts, which have raised the university ranking in Africa and globally. So I'm, very, I'm really very excited. And I want to thank all those involved, because now you are, you are thinking now. Thank, congratulations on thinking. Because in the past, Africans had abstained from thinking. This innovation is as a result of employing biotechnology. However, Museven recently declined to ascend to the biotechnology bill, citing clauses that are likely to kill indigenous crops and animals. That means this law will be good because one, it will identify the areas that we need to, uh, to use biotechnology. At the same time, it will also be able to curtail eh, certain by technologies which are not user, which are not good. Your Excellency, I want on behalf of this university to thank you very much for the government support for research. The first ever, the single largest injection of money into research in this university, 30 billion shillings this year. <laughs> The president has promised to reschedule a meeting with scientists next month at State House to reassure them of his support for scientific innovations. Jingo Francis, NTV.